two lies employers tell their employees. That's what we're talking about today. Employees are often told by their employer when they have their religious accommodation request denied that there is no appeal process and the decision is final. Well, we're here to tell you that that's a lie and here's why. Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Radswin IV, your trusted attorney with Radswin Law PLLC. And today we are discussing whether employers have the ability to say no appeal, our decision is final, no questions asked attitude. In a previous post, we covered lie number one, which was dealing with the my way or highway type approach that employers often take when employees go to submit their religious accommodation request. A link for that will be in uh, the bottom of this post. Let's dive right in. Lie number two is the no appeals, final decision type attitude. We hear this time and time again and that the employer has made a final decision, that there is no appeal process, but this is a lie that, again, is being told and a lot of employees are out there buying it. A second submission for a religious accommodation request is often referred to as an appeal. The thought is, is that an employee sends a reconsideration letter or a supplemental letter to the employee, which is often thought of as an appeal. It's an appeal of the first denied request. Regardless of the terminology used, a second submission or an appeal is to be treated by the employer as if it were being submitted for the first time. In other words, each time an employee submits a religious accommodation request, the employer is required to review that request as if the employee had only submitted one request and that was the one that they had submitted. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act requires that if an employee has a sincerely held religious belief that conflict with an employer's policy, that employee is to present a request to be exempt from that policy to their employer. The act requires the employer to accommodate the employee's request based on that sincerely held religious belief absent undue hardship on the employer. An employer's failure to accept an appeal by an employee and reconsider the initial denial is not supported under Title VII. An employer cannot hold a position that an employee's rights are subject to a one-time evaluation under the law. If an employer does hold the no appeals position, it is completely wrong and it's in violation of the law. Title VII prohibits employment discrimination based on religious beliefs. It would be completely absurd to think that just because the employer has a self-serving policy that says we are only going to take the time to review one of your religious accommodation requests, and if they get denied, that's too bad for you, we're not going to review anything else, that's just absolute lunacy. Title VII places a duty on the employer to consider each and every religious accommodation request that's submitted as if the employee submitted it for the very first time, period. If you would like to retain Radswin Law as your trusted attorney, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here to protect you when you need it most, and we will fight for your freedom. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Obligatory, share, comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks again for watching.